But have himself. you got to get rid of your body hair? Would you say let's let's get rid of it, or should men keep a bit to be like uh, a man, man? I mean, men should keep a bit, but keep it shaven and well groomed. It's so important, mm. and and for hygiene reasons. And I mean, I've seen guys in the gym. Not that I'm looking, but some guys when they're doing the weights, they've no, got the big hair under the pits. I'm like, them days are over, and it's <laughs> the body odor is heaving. It's just like, are you serious? You cannot do so that no more. So have you got to trim under your arms? Of course, then? of course, of course. Having hair under your arms, sweaty in in your clothes. I mean, guys are spending more money on their clothes now as well. So but you don't shave under your arms, do you? Or you of just trim it? I'm sh I'm well groomed. All over. All over. Oh wow. All over. What? Well, but you, but you, you're, no, you're, a, you're a heterosexual woman. I quite like men with a bit of hair. I, I like a bit of a caveman, maybe. But I feel like yeah. I like a man with a bit. I don't mind it. It kind of makes me think, oh, he's quite manly. He's got a bit of hair. I don't. <laughs> I'm not against it. Yeah. I'm a ni nice, smooth chest is lovely, but I don't mind a bit of hair. I think slight stubble's alright. I think having having you know curls on your chest on a bright white shirt and on a night out hanging around the back. Not a great look. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I a great hear you there. I hear you there. But that's why I don't wear a bright white shirt. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you kind of the days where you had the hairy chest, you know, the buttons down, but you know, Old and girls mafia, used yeah, to yeah. say, "Wow, he's a real man." Yeah. But you know, I think sometimes guys, you don't want to be too girly. You got to, there's a there's a fine line. Yeah, no, of know. course, of course. But I mean, it's just good to see on a wider spectrum that guys are, are now finally trying to make an effort. With themselves, it's 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 so important. Look, so we important. Do we, uh, like Wayne Rooney has had a hair transplant. Yeah. The men are conscious of how they look, and they don't, you know. And mm -hmm. going bald is a part. Men hate, you know. A lot of men don't mind going bald, but a lot of men can't bear it. Well, thought. I'm actually glad that you're talking about um, hair loss and and baldness. I've just started doing. Um, sorry, I'm now doing um, scalp micropigmentation. So, it's what is that? What is that? That's I've actually got it myself. It's it's um, very similar to a hair tattoo. It lasts five years. I mean, I'm not trying to put anyone out of business for hair implants, but the facts are every 100 hairs that goes in, I would say 10% actually stay. So that means that you have to keep going back mm. five, six, eight, nine yes. times. Scalp micropigmentation, it takes three sessions, two hours, last five years.